Right, uh, thank you, Willis. Like he said, I've got some hot gossip this week, so let's take a look at some of the stories uh, that are making rounds online. Now, media personality Julie Gishuru has rubbished rumors that uh, made the round on blogs, which suggested that she was a victim of domestic violence. Speaking yesterday on a local TV station, Julie Gishuru said that she had uh, been uh, or denied that she had been beaten by her husband of 18 years. She said if that was true, she would have walked out of the marriage. She said, me being battered, not a day in this life. You hit me one time, you will never see the front of my face again. You will see the back of me for a few seconds, and that's it. I don't believe that any woman should accept any kind of violence, uh, Julie said. So it's good that she cleared that up. Now moving on, power couple Beyonce and Jay-Z have hired six house helps to help them uh, with their one-month-old twins. According to OK Magazine in the U.S., the, pa the pair will pay each house help 100,000 U.S. dollars. That's about 10.4 million Kenya shillings annually. And uh, the six would collectively earn 62.4 million Kenya shillings for the year. That's a whole lot of nannying right there. But apparently it's uh, pretty invaluable for the couple given that the twins do sleep at different times, which means three nannies are needed per child working in eight-hour shifts. Beyonce and Jay-Z also have two other nannies for five-year-old daughter, Blue Ivy. It's good, to, it's good to be rich and have help, isn't it? All right, and now a Canadian man with 24 wives uh, and more than 145 children has been found guilty of polygamy. Winston uh, Blackmore, who's 61 years old, was convicted in a landmark ruling at the British Columbia Supreme Court in Canada. He was found guilty of polygamy along with his former brother-in-law, James Oler who's 53 years old, who has five wives. Now the pair face up to uh, five years in prison in a case that has tested Canada's 127-year-old polygamy law. 145 children. Are you kidding me in this economy? But anyway, maybe they should just move to Kenya and, you know, that'll be that. That's it for our gossip this week. Thanks to Brian Okot for the juice. Of course, you can check out these and other stories on www.edaily.co.ke. Let's take a look at what's coming up next.